how to create an upper or lower floor in 2020 Fusion Live. In 2020 Fusion Live, a ceiling and a floor is automatically added to a design based on the height of the walls in it. For example, in this room, the height of the walls are 2500 mm, and therefore a ceiling and a floor has automatically been added based on the height of the wall. So, since the height of the wall is 2500, the ceiling's Z position is 2500, making it in line with the height of the wall. And the Z position of the floor is negative 100 by default. So, to make an upper floor, we simply need to increase the height of the walls first. And to do so, I'm going to quickly select all the walls in the design by going to Home tab, select, select items by layer, and select the walls layer. And then increase the height of the walls as required. I'm going to set the height of the walls to 5000 mm. Next, I'm going to select the ceiling and change the Z position of the ceiling as 5000 mm to match the height of the walls. Next, we will need to add in a ceiling manually to divide the design into two floors and to do so, I'm going to change my view to plan and then in the catalog items palette, select the advanced graphics catalog and search for box ceiling. I'm going to set the height of the box ceiling as 100. Next, I'm going to the insert tab and use the freehand tool to draw the box ceiling. And to do so, I'm clicking on the freehand tool and then place the mouse cursor on one end of the wall. This will give us a snapping box and we left click to start drawing. Left click to change direction, left click again, left click, and then left click again to complete. Going back to perspective view, we have a box ceiling added to the design, but I need to position the added box ceiling higher, so I'm going to change the Z position to 2500 mm. If you wish to add stairs to your design, you can find various options in the 2020 Decorative Items catalog in the Cloud Browser. But for this example, I'm going to go with the basic option available in the Advanced Graphics catalog. Next, I'm going to adjust the Z position of the stairs. Now, all we need is to make a cutout on the box ceiling for the stairs, and to do so, we can go to the Insert tab, Auto Features drop down, and select Edit Graphic Fixtures. This will give us access to various tools that we can use to edit the shape of the box ceiling. For this example, I'm going to use the triple cut option and then click on the edge next to the stairs. I can then enter the X offset and the Y offset value as required for the cutout and then press enter. We can then use the stretch selected edge tool to fine tune the edges. And then we can go forward with the next stage and finish to complete. And now we have the two floor design with a cutout for the stairs. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.